So I recently began watching the terrific comedy Derry Girls, a show centered around a group of schoolgirls and a wee English fella, set in the backdrop of Northern Ireland in the 1990s. The show is fantastic, seriously, go watch it. But of course, with me being me, there was one part that particularly piqued my interest. That of course being the titular city in which the girls reside, the second largest city in Northern Ireland, Derry, or is it called Londonderry? The dispute of the city's name, whether it should be called Derry or Londonderry, is a dispute that has been raging for years. Why does this city go by two different names, and why do people seem to not be able to agree on just one name? The name Derry into itself is an anglicisation of the Irish Dale, which means Oak Grove, and the settlement's original name when it was first settled was Dali Kalagash, which means Oak Grove of Kalagash, with Kalagash being an ancient warrior who claimed the land the city now stands on. I'm sure when the city was first founded, it was little more than an oak grove, hence why its name relates to the trees. Of course, this settlement eventually dropped the name of its warrior founder, but that wouldn't be the end of name changes for this city. The whole Derry London Derry dispute is just one factor in the larger issues that faced Northern Ireland in the 20th century. This conflict that took place in Northern Ireland is known as the Troubles, which is such a low key name for what was a time of rather severe civil unrest in Northern Ireland. While the Troubles has become its official name to start with, this was more of a colloquial name for the Northern Irish situation, a way to express that they there were issues in the nation but not to leap to scarier words like war or conflict. The troubles are actually believed to have roots in Derry where the civil rights march of Derry took place in 1968 and a year later in 1969 the battle of Bogside took place in the city. Derry slash London Derry was very much a hub for the troubles in Northern Ireland. But what exactly were all these troubles all about? Well this video is definitely not a deep in-depth look into the complete history of the troubles but my research seems to say that the troubles were caused by two opposing communities in the region and their religious and national views. And please bear in mind I'm speaking in majorities here. I'm not saying that everyone from one group of people think the exact same thing. The general consensus is that the Catholics of Northern Ireland were nationalists and considered themselves to be Irish citizens and wished for Ireland and Northern Ireland to be one united country independent from the UK. While the Protestants of Northern Ireland saw themselves as British citizens, unionists and wanted to remain part of the union with England, Scotland and Wales. The troubles in Northern Ireland saw many bombings, riots, civilian deaths on both sides and assassination attempts on high up figures like the Prime Minister at the time Margaret Thatcher. The Queen's cousin Lord Mountbatten was even killed by a bomb planted on his boat. In 1972 Bloody Sunday took place in our city of choice, Londonderry, leading to 13 civilians shot dead by the British Army. The conflicts even spilled out of Northern Ireland. Even in my hometown in the south of England a bomb was set off, outside of Woolworths of all places, just shy of a month before I was born. Thankfully no one died. While the Troubles were primarily an issue during the latter half of the 20th century, we need to go back further in time to look into how Derry became London Derry. This changing of name began taking shape in the plantation of Ulster all the way back in 1608, with Ulster being the collective name for the nine regions in the north of the island of Ireland, six belonging to Northern Ireland and the other three belonging to the Republic of Ireland. The plantation of Ulster was an attempt by the British Crown to claim land in the north of Ireland and make a low population in the land. Once the British Crown had its land, it was split up and given to various guilds to manage. The county Derry resided in was given to the London Guilds, who after investing a lot into the city, dubbed it London Derry by Royal Charter. Unsurprisingly, it was Londoners who added London to the start of Derry's name. And so, that name stands to this very day, with different people using the name Derry and others using the name London Derry. Of course, the name you choose to use all depends on your views on the matter, and where you are on the island of Ireland. Street signs in Northern Ireland refer to it as London Derry, while signs to the city in the Republic of Ireland that use just Derry. London Derry is the preferred name of choice for Protestant Unionists, who as we mentioned want Northern Ireland to remain part of the UK, so are happy with the UK's capital being part of their city's name, while the name of just Derry seems to be the preferred choice for the Catholic Nationalists, who are annoyed at the UK forcing their capital's name on their city. However, while this might be the case, it doesn't seem to be as black and white as that. It appears that many, regardless of political and religious beliefs, simply refer to the city as just Derry, at least informally, though officially the city is still called Londonderry. I'm going to leave you with some lyrics from the song Sunrise by my favourite band, The Divine Comedy. Their frontman and writer, Neil Hannon, grew up through the troubles. I was born in Londonderry. I was born in Derry City. Oh, what a special child to see such things and still to smile. I know that there was something wrong, but I kept my head down and carried on. Who cares where national borders lie? Who cares whose laws you're governed by? Who cares what name you call a town? Who'll care when you're six feet beneath the ground?
Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.